Great. We broke it. E7. It's oh. better. That's really annoying, isn't it? <laughs> Can we write a letter to the induction burner people? <laughs> oh yeah, that's better. We might set off the fire alarm. Should I do my best YouTuber impersonation? <laughs> Hey, this is How to Make Dinner, I'm Paula, and today we're making buckwheat crepes. So buckwheat is a really cool little grain, and they're really cute. They're shaped like little hearts. There's no gluten in it. Pretty much everyone can eat buckwheat, as far as I know. So, but for these crepes, we're using buckwheat flour. So for this buckwheat crepe batter, we are going to uh, weigh everything into the same bowl so there's barely any dirty dishes to deal with because you know that's my favorite style and so we're going to make the batter and then we're going to cook it in crepe form and then we're going to fill it with some savory fillings so buckwheat flour we're going to start with 70 grams into the bowl and I'll put all these amounts on the blog and I'll put them in both weight and uh, cup form for those of you who don't have a scale, I'm softening on my scale policy. <laughs> so 70 grams, so not very much at all. Crepe batter is really liquidy, so you don't use a lot of flour. And then one egg. And I definitely got some shell in there, so we'll take that out. This is a good opportunity to show you that the best way to get shell out of an egg is to use the shell to grab it. Oh, I got it. There it is. Something about the shell, it kind of, you know when you try and use your finger or a spoon and it kind of keeps like squirming away? Uh, when you use the shell of an egg, it somehow attracts it and it just works really well. So that's a good little trick. So we've got 70 grams of buckwheat. We have one egg. We have about a tablespoon of oil or 10 mils, or 10 grams, sorry. And then we have your milk of choice. So normally you'd use regular milk. I would use regular milk, but just to show you that you can make it, uh, you know, adapt to your needs, we're using oat milk today. So it's 60 mils of this gonna measure always get down to eye level with your with your liquid measuring and then 125 mils of water so that's going in everything goes into the same bowl it's so good and then a pinch of salt and then just give it a little whisk so this is so good for breakfast brunch dinner once you have a buckwheat crepe, you can pretty much stuff anything into it. I'm using mushrooms and I might fry an egg because... So I've got a jug ready already because I used it to measure the liquid stuff. So I'll just use that to administer the crepe batter into the pan. You don't want to oil the pan too much just a light brush and make sure you get all the way up on the sides, especially if you're going to really roll the batter around on the sides and something to hold on to this thing because it's hot. And I'm going to just see how our first one goes here. So just pour it right into the middle and then roll it around and don't use an induction burner because they're a pain and they beep at you when you take the thing off. Ugh, these things, I swear. Induction burners need to chill out, I tell you. And then that's just gonna cook. It takes like maybe a minute to cook on one side. And this is medium, medium heat, I'd say, about a five or a six. Crepes are like any pancakes. The first one kind of sucks. The second one is a little bit better and then you start getting better and better as you go. So I'm just 
building a stack of kind of subpar crepes to kick things off. And then um, I have a feeling this one's going to be the best. So let's just see. Okay, this one looks pretty promising. Okay, we gently pick it up with our fingers. There we go. That's a good one. I like that one. I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil into the pan. And I've got a few sliced regular button mushrooms or cremini mushrooms, whatever mushrooms you want. Throw those in. And a pinch of salt. And I went outside and got a few herbs from the garden. So I have chives and some fresh thyme. I love fresh thyme with mushrooms. Sprinkle that in. These mushrooms are going to take like a minute or so to cook. Maybe while we're cooking these mushrooms, I'll fry an egg too. And these mushrooms, I mean, you can do just salt and chives and thyme like this or whatever herbs you have. Um, you can also make it a bit creamy, which I actually think I might because I have a little bit of leftover sour cream. And you know what else I love with mushrooms? is a little splash of white wine, which I have in the fridge. <laughs> I love that. And then I've got a little touch of sour cream here. I don't even need this much. Stir that in. So we've got our finished crepes. They're still warm. If they weren't still warm, you could warm them up in the oven a bit. And these, by the way, you can make ahead. You can make them like, you can make them actually and freeze them. That works too. Down in the middle. This is so nice. And then, got this egg. You can poach an egg, do it sunny side up, just cook it however you want. I'm gonna do mine a little bit over easy. And then throw that on top. And we'll just do a one fold. There. That's nice, hey? If you're obsessed with Parmesan cheese like me, you'll just grate a bit of that over the top. Just snip a few of these on top. So there you go. There's your buckwheat crepes with mushrooms and egg. And I hope you like it. And I hope you make these crepes. And I'll catch you next week. I don't know why I don't make these more often, actually. It was so smooth before I got this stupid burner involved. <laughs>